Today we'll be using Gigapixel uh, 7.4.3. It's got a new face refinement uh, thing going on. That's really cool. I'm going to show you how to use Gigapixel within Photoshop and use it kind of as a layer. I'll be using this picture and we'll be fixing the ladies and the guy's face separately using Gigapixel in Photoshop. Let's go. All right, well, we got this great picture of this couple from World War II here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the layer. Then I'm going to go up to here, File, Automate, and Gigapixel AI. And once we're in, you can tell that the picture is 960 by 960. I set it to make it two times the size, to 1920 to 1920. That's a good size. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to let it do its thing for some denoising. I always like using low-res V2 on these kind of pictures. And right away, look at the noise. It's just gone. I'm really digging that. Wow. The next thing I want to do is I want to make sure their faces are cool. Maybe make sure their hair is all right. So what we'll do is we'll go over here, and I'll hit Face Recovery, and I'll set it to Gen 1, and we'll see what it does. Wow, that's amazing. That's just so cool. It's changed everything really nice. Look at the hair. It's very cool. Eyes, great eyebrows, hair over here, teeth, everything. Same for the guy. Wow, look at this. It's got some weirdness going on with the eye here. What I'd like to do is use their new Gen 2, except I'm going to go realistic and see what it does. We'll select the faces, then we'll hit apply, and we'll see what it does here. All right. It's changed it a bit, but the lady, I'm totally digging it. This is excellent. On the guy here, we got some weirdness going on with his eye. So what we'll do, since I like what's going on with the lady here, we're going to export that to Photoshop. All right, now that we're in Photoshop, we're going to go back in again. Automate Gigapixel AI. Now it's going to do its same thing again. Here, let's zoom out a bit. Because I want to concentrate on the guy's face this time. We've already got the girl's face. And once again, you can see something weird going on here. So what we'll do, we'll wait till it's done. It's recovering the faces. Fine. It's upscaling. And it looks great, but got some weirdness going on and we got some weird little freckles or something maybe something with the ear which we can fix later on but what I want to do is we'll scroll down and I'm gonna hit creative on the gen 2 beta and it'll do its thing and cool the skin looks nicer and it rounded off and created a better eye for the guy so once again let's export to Photoshop now, what we'll do is we're going to hold our Alt key down. And we'll hit a mask on that second pick. Now, you can see we're seeing the underneath layer right now over here. What we can do is take our brush. We'll make sure the flow is about 5% here. And we're going to bring back just the eye. Make sure you're painting with white as we've got a negative mask going on here. And let's just paint over the eye. And like magic, we brought back just the eye, which we wanted from the second layer. Very cool. Now, if you want to work on the skin as well, let's do that. Make our brush a little bit bigger and just start painting what you want it to do. Now, if you want, you can increase your flow to 10% to get more done faster. But what it'll do is it'll clear up that skin that you may not have liked with the other layer. Let's zoom out. Very cool. Now, let's put them in a group. It's called a group giga. Now, let's check it out. Zoom in just a bit. As you can see, the noise is completely gone. It looks really good so far before we do any more editing. So let's look before, after, before, 
after. Gigapixel in layers in Photoshop. Very cool. Wow, so there you have it. Gigapixel made those faces look incredible on two different layers, so you can alter them any way you wish. If you're getting anything out of my tutorials, please like and subscribe. That'd be great, guys. I'm done from Photo 911. See ya.